Hello and welcome back to Let's Play A Dog's Life. Last time we completed the last area in Clarksville, the town centre. This time we're going to move on to the next area. Uh, this dog you require 15 bones to get, no, 16 bones, sorry, to get past. And also if you haven't seen the dog catcher yet, he will chase you out of here. So be forewarned, um, it's impossible to have less than one bone for this, so you can never have zero bones after this. Um, well, before that, um, so now we're going to have a cutscene. Cutscene time! In the centre! There's a whole lack of truck noise. Would you care for What's up with his neck? Dwayne? Oh, mind your own beeswax, Dwayne! Hello, Dwayne speaking. Well? Did you collect some nice, clean Clarksville dogs? Uh, yes, Miss Stacy. What about some nice, clean mountain dogs from up at Lake Minnewawa? Uh, not yet, Miss Stacy. Oh, fiddlesticks! Can't I trust you idiots to do anything? Uh, sorry, Miss Stacy. Do you know what happens to idiots who disappoint me? <laughs> Release the yeah, bears! Miss Peaches. Uh, Wayne? What? That was Miss Peaches. She said, What's up with the next? Ah, because, so Wayne, much. you are useless at reading road maps. Turn up. <laughs> Why'd you give the map to the guy who can't read? Wait, look, at last. Oh, apparently they put up a sign since we left. So, <laughs> what, since getting on the train in like five minutes, they put up a map that points to somewhere that we couldn't actually get to. For some reason, we couldn't get to it by road. Instead, we have to take the train, which makes no sense. And also, how did we get on and off of this train without anyone noticing a dog had got on the train? That makes no sense. But anyway, here we are at Lake Minnewawa. Uh, as you can see, it's a snow level, and yes, there will be ice physics. And yes, this is probably one of the worst levels for those ice physics, and it's not going to be a fun time. Oh well, let's carry on. Right, so first what we want to do is grab this pink and the pink that's on these stairs. Um, right, so we've pretty much completed the station there. We don't have to come back up here unless you want to go back to the previous areas. If you want to go back to the previous areas, you have to uh, get on the train again. Um, let's pick these up. Um, these cars have tend tendency to park right on top of the uh, blues so if you're missing a blue check the car park there may be a, may have been a car parked on it so let's talk to this girl I found a footprint trail hey there doggy some mean boy stole my coat to dress their snowman can you find it for me uh, yeah sure why not um, so this girl's lost her coat she's freezing to death For some reason she's standing in a car park of all places. Um, so that's a little weird, but oh well. Uh, let's go and find her. Actually, no, we can't find her, folks. If I followed the footprint trail, you can tell that it leads into that area up there. Let me just show you. There's the footprint trail. There it is. It leads into this area here, which we're not going to go to until next time. So, ah, cars. Um, so let's go over here and talk to this oh, guy. You're nothing but rats with wings. Hmm. You rats look with like wings. a bird dog. These pesky pigeons I look like are a dog. pestering my customers. Harper. Could you chase them away? You never know. If I do him a favor, the cook might just throw me a bone. I like how whenever he's in a conversation with someone, his face is so blank that it's like the person's talking to a brick wall. Or actually, they're talking to a dog, because that's what's happening. And they're idiots for trying to have a conversation with a dog. Oh, well, whoa, bloody hell. I just launched myself up there. Uh, let's pick up some more blues. Grab the blues. Uh, right, let's go in here. Grab some pink. Turn around. Come back over here. Yes, I do. Uh, now, this machine today here. Is a big day uh, in the history of Miss Peaches. Uh, if he doesn't today, spaz out and presses the button, you can win a few things. If you get lemons, you'll get a lemon. If you get melon, you'll get a melon. Uh, and if you get sevens, you'll get a combination of melons and 
lemons that add up to seven. So let's pick that up and eat a lemon for some reason. He just eats the entire lemon in one go. There's the dog. It's a... What dog is it? It's a boxer dog. Yep, just had to check my list. There's a bone. Yum, yum, yum. Pick up the uh, easy to find bones. This area over here is going to be the bane of your existence if you're playing this along with me. Uh, because it's an ice lake, and ice lakes are a pain in the arse in any form. Um, I don't hate on ice physics, it's just the ice physics that are here are just a nightmare. Um, there's a bone buried here, so let's stitch that up. Let's head on up this hill. Get up there. Which is the way the slopes work in this game. Here we go. Another bone. Quack Give the dog a bone. At last. Oh, what's going on? There we go. Um, right. Where we want to go, uh, we could start from that end, but I want to end over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump across here and slide on this ice. If you just let go, he'll slide like that and slowly come to a stop. Um, it is very difficult to change direction on this ice, so be forewarned. And if you do stop in the middle, it is going to be very hard, like this. Look at that. I'm not going anywhere. Um, so, be forewarned that if you are trying to get something and you miss it, it's going to be very difficult to turn around and go back for it. Um, sometimes it would be best to just to push off the opposite end of the lake and just uh, bounce back and try and get it. And in a minute, I'll show off one of those annoying things they could have done with this level. And as you can see, they've put purples here. They have put purples in the middle of an ice lake. So yes, they are jerks. And I want to grab the greens first, just because the purple uh, is a little bit easier to start with. I've got more bones than this guy. Time to have a little fun. Let's own this guy. Two, one. Mind the uh, uh, ski fella, I can't remember. <laughs> Snowmobile. I did a fair recording and I couldn't remember the name of it then. There we go, there's this game glitchiness. I crashed into the stairs and got it. And this is the most annoying part of this entire map, pretty much. You have to race this dog across this lake. As you know, I'm lying, it's probably not the most annoying. The most annoying, is it, look at this. I'm way behind. Look at this. <laughs> have to go to the other lake, on the side of the lake to get back. He's walking now. He is walking. See, that's how much they pity you on this lake. He, they make him walk so that you have a chance to catch up. Just because they know that he's a jerk. Anyway, like I was saying, most, not most annoying. Probably the purples are the most annoying thing. Um, you don't have to worry about not having enough if he gets 20 or so because there's 130. Uh, treats in this map, so it doesn't really matter. It's just that they are jerks with this map. If I hate one thing about this game, well, yeah, hate one thing, the other thing's not really a hate, it's just a sort of a thing that I'm not too, you know, just don't really like. But anyway, I hate the ice physics, and I don't particularly like all the fart jokes in it, it's just a bit childish, but oh well. It's designed for a ten year old, what do you expect? But anyway, now that we've done that, we can cross the line. With 114 treats, that's pretty it's good. Not life as we know it. It's another dog's life. <laughs> Making a pun about the uh, uh, the game starts. Right, what you want to do is you want to chase these pigeons onto, well, just across the lake. Uh, this dog, as you can see, can run a lot easier on this lake, um, making this just infinitely easier, since you won't be spending hours sliding in the wrong direction. Um, I think these birds follow a set path, so you just want to chase them about. I don't think it really matters what angle you come at. Uh, just be warned that they will just fly about, and they won't go straight there, so you've got very little time. It's probably easier just starting again. Um, let's chase these birds over here. Um, the reason why you can't do this with Jake, it's not just harder as Jake. You can't do it because... Uh, the birds will fly back to the cafe after a certain time if you haven't interacted with them, so it's very hard. I'm amazed. You're like you have a sponge on your thing. What the hell's wrong with you? Powers. You astonish me, sir. I have magic powers! Everybody, and give the dog a bone. 
There we go. The young dog's just pissed off now. Oh well, let's take the bone. Right. We've got blues and purples left to do. Right. The blue one's probably gonna be around here somewhere, but I'll look for it in a bit. For now I'm gonna go do that purple. Just get it out of the way. Um, I suggest coming at it from the bank, not from the lake, because the purple start going the other direction. So if I go this angle and chase them this way. Chase them, there's things still, never mind if I go after them this way. Get a few of them. That way, oh, that way, 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 Damn, why did I do that? Um, <laughs> I accidentally pressed triangle. If you didn't know, if you press triangle during one of these challenges, it will just cancel it. So, I don't know why I did that. Um, anyway, I'll get back to where I was. Okay, I got an extra one there. I didn't mean to. Oh no, I'm going to crash into over here. Yeah, so when doing this, do not press the triangle button because you will have to do it again. Um, no, 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 going the wrong way, going the wrong way, go that way. Okay, go. There, and there's one behind me as well, uh, but I've got 40 seconds ish, so I can kind of get to that one. Just go forward, just there we go. Right, it sounds like I'm constipated or something trying to do this. Come on, do it! <laughs> go! And uh, there we go. That's probably the most annoying thing in this area, it's just having to do purples on an ice lake. It's just torture. Um, let's go over here, to the fence. Right, where's this last blue? Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, it's in this car. There we go. See, that's what I meant by the cars Fine, park over it sometimes. This will be like taking candy from a baby. Here we Three, go. Right. Two, one, go. Big in time. Um. Big, 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 big. And now run. Uh, if you've got as many bones as me, I have pretty much as many as you could have at this point. I could have the pink one as a pink challenge bone for this area as well, or I could have gone to other areas. But at this point, I have uh, 2.5 times these bones, so it's really easy. Um. So normally I end up being like two holes ahead, which is pretty incredible. Um, I can only imagine what would happen if he had all of them for this one and challenged them. I don't know if you can do that, you might be able to. Um, I know you couldn't do that for any of the bones previous to this area since uh, I think you require 15 so, or something, I don't know. I don't know, it's too much to think about, so I'll just do that. I think I was three ahead of them there, that's pretty incredible. So there we go, that's one more, and the sound has gone fantastic. Ugh. This, this game, whenever I record it, it just doesn't like recording. Oh, and it's back, there we go. Ugh. It's just been a nightmare recording this game for some reason, it just doesn't like the sound, it just cuts it out. Uh, is that two there? Yep, there we go. Right, I think, once I've got these, I have every bone in this area, except the one for the girl with her missing coat, which we can't do until we go to the next area, which we'll be doing next time. So, thank you very much for joining me for Let's Play The Dog's Life. Next time, we'll be going to the next area, like I said, and finding that girl's coat. Um, so let me just grab these bones. And now, now. And there we go. 56 bones is pretty good. Uh, everyone but the girls. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you next time.